the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. This is the written account of Adam's family life. When God created human beings, he made them in the likeness of God. He created them male and female and blessed them. And when they were created, he called them human beings. When Adam had lived 130 years, he had a son in his own likeness, in his own image, and he named him Seth. After Seth was born, Adam lived 800 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Adam lived a total of 930 years, and then he died. When Seth had lived 105 years, he became the father of Enoch. After he became the father of Enoch, Seth lived 807 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Seth lived a total of 912 years, and then he died. When Enosh had lived 90 years, he became the father of Kenan. After he became the father of Kenan, Enosh lived 815 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Enosh lived a total of 905 years, and then he died. When Kenan had lived 70 years, he became the father of Mahalaleel. After he became the father of Mahalaleel, Kenan lived 840 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Kenan lived a total of 910 years, and then he died. When Mahalaleel had lived 65 years, he became the father of Jared. After he became the father of Jared, Mahalaleel lived 830 years and had other sons and daughters. Together, Mahalaleel lived a total of 895 years, and then he died. When Jared had lived 162 years, he became the father of Enoch. After he became the father of Enoch, Jared lived 800 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Jared lived a total of 962 years, and then he died. When Enoch had lived 65 years, he became the father of Methuselah. After he became the father of Methuselah, Enoch walked faithfully with God for 300 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Enoch lived a total of 365 years. Enoch walked faithfully with God. Then he was no more because God took him away. When Methuselah had lived 187 years, he became the father of Lamech. After he became the father of Lamech, Methuselah lived 782 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Methuselah lived a total of 969 years, and then he died. When Lamech had lived 182 years, he had a son. He named him Noah. And said, He will comfort us in the labor and painful toil of our hands caused by the ground the Lord has cursed. After Noah was born, Lamech lived 595 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Lamech lived a total of 777 years. Then he died. After Noah was 500 years old, he became the father of Shem. And Jacob. Hey, everybody, I'm excited. I got a new project I want to try out. It's for encouragement, for growth, and edification for all of us. Those who profess themselves to be Christians is to let's read the entire Bible. One chapter at a time for the New Testament, one chapter at a time for the Old Testament. Use the New Testament in the morning and at um, nighttime, use the Old Testament. And incorporate that in part of your prayer, meaning it just becomes a routine thing with your prayer life. So what I'm gonna do is by being an example, is actually go ahead and do that as well. Use it on YouTube. I recommend you do um, subscribe so you can be notified when the chapter that you need to read 
comes up and you can go and keep up with it. Subscribe to the channel. You go to the channel and catch up with the ones that you may have missed. But let's let's get it one day at a time, you know. And what I like to do is I'm excited because I think it's love it because we really do need to read the Bible for ourselves. Everybody that. And I encourage many to do that. The reason I'm doing this is because, like I say, here's the title, How to Read the Entire Bible, Read It One Day at a Time, with your morning evening prayer, and use an audio book to help you read and pronounce some of those words, especially when you get into the Old Testament, I'm telling you something else. But also look at this right here. I put down the survey that was done. It was called, how much, it's called LifeWay Research Did It, how much of the Bible have you personally read? And you can see 10% none, 13% only a few sentences, 30% several passages or stories, 50% at least half of it, 12% almost all of it, 11% uh, all of it, and 9% all of it more than once. And the reason I don't want you just to read the Bible, I want you to give it, meditate on it, and get that in your heart and your spirit and get revelation that God gives you. So that's why the intent is for you to read these scriptures because you guarantee you you will grow in the things of god and then you'll have to depend on other people to tell you something and then when you go to church sir when the man said let's turn to such and such chapter you can sit and say i did that <laughs> i read that chapter and, and then you get some more comments on that so you start to understand what the man is trying to teach but you keep it in content of those scriptures as they come in amen hey I, I think you'll love it. I think I know you'll love it. I know you'll enjoy it because we got to change that stat that we just read. All right, so get ready. Go to the chapter that's up for the day. And don't forget to subscribe. And I guarantee you, we'll be able to knock out the New Testament, uh, I think in about seven months. Listen, it's worth it so you can get to know your Bible and know who you are. But what the scripture says who you are is more important than what people say that you are. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you and see you. Bye-bye. Look at this right here. This is the Lord's Prayer. This is what Christ taught his disciples, which means that this is something that was for all believers to use. It's just a matter. You don't have to use this verbatim, but it's just something you want to do. You see in Matthew chapter 6, verse 9, after this man of death will pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, which is this word, which is what we're reading, will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day, meaning the daily prayer. That's why I encourage you to read the Bible daily, as well as pray daily. Uh, our daily bread, and the daily bread, once again, is the word of God. We ain't talking about loaf of bread, we're talking about the word of God. And forgive us our debts, we give our debt to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory for every man. For if you give men that trespasses, you have Father also forgive you. This is a reminder of Christ to tell you, it is important for you to forgive others, for your Father in heaven will forgive you. But if you forgive men not their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. So you want to remind yourself daily to forgive those who have offended you. Amen? And just remember 1 Timothy 2, 4, who would have all men to be saved and come to unto the knowledge of the truth. Once again, the knowledge of the truth is the word of God. You don't want it. It, it is no other truth given if you don't have the word of God with you. That's why you want to read it daily. That's why I encourage you to do this, to read the entire Bible over and over again. Romans 14, 12 says, And so then every one of us shall again account himself to God. And God is going to hold you accountable for understanding his word. He's not going to sit there and say, well, you pastor didn't tell you, I got it. No. He's going to sit there and say, I told you to study. I told you to read the word of God. Amen? So that's what we do that. So, but the main thing is we can do this. We can read the Bible, the entire Bible, especially the entire New Testament, uh, one day at a time, one chapter at a time. And I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget, you I do recommend pray daily too, just like Christ taught us to pray. Pray daily and pray His will, pray His word. That's what, and therefore, when you ask for things, you should line them with His word. Amen. And He wants you to love one another. God bless. I'll see you later. Don't forget to subscribe.
If you subscribe, every time we bring a chapter out, you'll be notified. Then you go ahead and read that, do that reading for yourself. Amen? All right, God bless you. I'll see you when I see you. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.